Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Canuck Spider video. So today is kind of a follow-up video to the one I did back in January about that Acaso Brave 4 Pro. What I'm doing today is I've got the Brave 4 Pro and I've got the V50 Pro running it together again, and I'm going to see if I can get them color graded to look somewhat similar. I'm using my GoPro Hero 8 Black as sort of a reference camera, and I'm gonna have that running on the GoPro color setting. I'm also gonna try it on the GoPro flat setting. And I've got all three cameras running at 1080p at 60 frames a second, so they're all running kind of the same. So we're down in Lindsay, Ontario today, down by the lock, and there's an old ruins of a building here, so we're gonna use that as our filming um, scenery for today and see what the results are like. As always, thanks very much for watching another Canuck Spider video. I hope you enjoy it. As I said in the intro, I'm in Lindsay, Ontario today. I thought I would give you a short history of the area I'm in before we get into the techie stuff. The waterway here is the Scugog River, and on the other side is Lock 33, which is part of the Trent Severn Waterway here in Ontario. This river and lock allow for boat traffic to pass from Lake Scugog to Sturgeon Lake and on to Fenland Falls to the north and Bob Cajun to the east. Both of these towns also have locks on the waterway. The remains of the building you see was formerly a grist mill built in 1828 by William Purdy and the damming of the river transformed the swampy area to the south into Lake Scugog extending down to the town of Port Perry. So I'm back at home now from the little trip down to the park in Lindsay and I'm now inside the video editing software that I use for all of my YouTube videos which is DaVinci Resolve. Down on the timeline here there is a total of six video clips broken into three categories. Each one of the categories has a clip from the Acaso V50 Pro and from the Acaso Brave 4 Pro. So the cameras were filming simultaneously, so the clips are identical in terms of the view. There might be a bit of difference in the angle as these cameras do have different angles that they use, but for essentially they're about the same. So I have one from the river, river area, and then I have one from around that building, and then I have the last one, which is kind of out behind the building in a kind of an open area. And as I mentioned at the beginning, one clip from the Acaso V50 Pro and one clip from the Brave 4 Pro. So I've already gone through and color graded all these clips um, before I put this tutorial together. So what I want to show you now is what the difference is between these two cameras. When I did the review and test video of the Acaso Brave 4 Pro back in January, I didn't do any color grading on the clips that I showed because uh, I just wanted to see what they looked like right out of the camera. But my goal for this video is to see if I can make these two cameras look similar because what I want to do is I want to be able to mount these cameras in various locations when we go on our spider rides this summer so I can get some different views for filming while we're out on our rides. So it's pretty important that I'm able to at least get them looking closer to each other than what I observed in my previous test. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the color grading off and I'm going to show you the difference between the two cameras in the clips. So that is what the V50 Pro looks like with the color grading off. And if I move it to the same area, that is the Brave 4 with the color grading off. So that's kind of walking along the path by the river. And then if we move ahead to the building, I think there's a good spot. So that's the V50 Pro color grading off. And the Acaso with color grading off. So you can see there's a, quite a difference be between the two. And then the scene from behind the, the building, 
that's the V50 Pro with the color grading off and then the similar location for the Acaso Brave 4 Pro with the color grading off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the color grading back on and then I'm going to just let the video run through all of these clips. It only takes about a minute or so. Um, and it shows um, each one of the cameras, the same clip, one after the other, so you can see what they look like. And I think they're looking pretty good at this point. They're not perfect, um, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna let this run and you can see the difference. So this is the V50 Pro walking by the river. And then I pan around and look over at the other side of the river over towards the lock. And then we flip over to the Brave 4 Pro, same scene. Now we're going to go to the building. I chose this because there wasn't a lot of sky around and I just wanted to see what it looked like just filming this wall with these old doors and then coming up to this um, opening into the inside of what used to be the building. And now we flip over to the Brave 4 Pro, same sequence. I found the Brave 4 to be a kind of a noisier camera than the V50. That was one thing you can see that kind of crackling up on the side when it gets close to things. And then we have the last section um, behind the building. This is the V50 Pro. Again with the color grading on. And then it's going to flip over to the Brave 4 Pro next. Same scene. at the back of the building. Now that you've seen the clips before color grading and after color grading, I'm now going to flip into the color page of DaVinci Resolve and give you an idea of how I accomplished this. So we're going to change over to the color page and here we are in the color page of DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to go back to, let's make that the right size, there we go. I'm going to go back to this first clip. Um, so the clips along here just go in sequence. So we have V50 and then followed by the Acaso Brave 4 Pro, V50, Brave 4 and so on. And this area up here is called the node tree in DaVinci and that's where you go to make your corrections to the color and you can break it down into sections as I have. Um, I've got one node for contrast, one node for color saturation and temperature and then I've got another node for what I call look where I just want to make some final tweaks to the clip. Um, sometimes you'll include a, a, a separate node for white balance but these clips from a white balance perspective are pretty good as you can see by the parades. So to show you how I build this up, I'm going to turn all these nodes off. And then the, where I'm going to start is on the waveform. So you can see the image over here and this kind of shows you that the contrast is not in good shape. Um, everything's way down at the bottom here and you want to try and get this sort of squeezed into the middle a bit. So when I turn the contrast back on, you can see that that definitely improves the situation. And that is all done over here with these controls like contrast pivot controls over here. And then saturation and color doesn't do very much to this. I just wanted to take some of the blueness out of it. And then the last part is the look, which is kind of brighten things up a little bit to bring it up to where I want it to be, to be a better match for the other camera. So if we look at the same image for the Acaso Brave 4, 
and I'll do the same. I'll turn all these nodes off. And that's where we started with. And you can see down here on the waveform that the top and bottom are blown out. And the same should be if I look at the parade again, blown out. So turn the contrast back on, turn the saturation and color on. I just sort of, um, in the Brave 4, I wanted to get some of that kind of warmness out of it. So I boosted up the, the blue set a little bit. And then the look again was just a bit of a brightening up. So after I've come up with my basic look in the, in the nodes, I'll just copy those grades over to the other scenes from those cameras. So the V50 Pro all the way across. And then I will just look at each one and make tweaks as I feel necessarily. And I'll always um, be referencing the scopes to see how I'm doing. So all of those grades just get copied over um, to the various scenes and we come up with our final product. And I feel overall, um, I got them looking fairly similar. So folks, that's gonna wrap up another Connect Spider video. Just something a little different during the off season from spider riding. So, what was my conclusions from doing this comparison on these two cameras? I think I had fairly good success in matching them up in color grading and that was highly dependent on what kind of scene was being shot. They are very different um, as you saw in my review of them with the color grading on and off. Overall, I found the V50 Pro camera was easier to work with than the Acaso Brave 4. I found the image from the Brave 4 to be quite noisy. So color grading is always a very personal choice so everybody kind of makes their own determination of what looks good and what doesn't look good. So if you enjoy the videos you see on the channel you might want to consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button so you get reminded when we release a new video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.